subscribe with notifications on. Yeah. So guys, you know, it's it's very simple. It's very simple. We can always we can all make money. We must stop the thing of suffering sitting at home. People are suffering, they don't have options on what to do. Some of them decide they decide to go out and rob people. What are you benefiting? You're gonna go to jail and then what? You lose your life. You lose your life. Right? So guys, please, like I said to you, if you need help, talk to me. I'm a South African, but I've learned to live like a foreigner in my own country. That's what made me successful. That's what made me to be who I am today. Are you getting my point? I moved away from, I, I was living like you. I was living like you guys. I used to have an RTP house. I sold it. I, I, I made a big video one day about that RDP house. I told you guys, what did, what did I do? about the RDP house. I sold it. I took a risk. Wanted to go to UK, but I was returned from the UK when I go to UK in London. So, life is all about taking risk. If you cannot take risk, forget. Even if they chase you away from the, from the street, the police are harassing you. Listen to me. You're not committing any crime. They will never take you to jail. You're not committing any crime. You are trying to do something for your life. So why can't you do it? Let us stop this thing of hating these foreigners. You know, you know, why can foreigners come from where they come back when the way they come when they get here they make money, they drive nice cars, but you are sitting at home, you are suffering. But you are a South African. What's up? What's the problem about us? Why can't we do? Why can't we make money, our own money? Hmm? Like I told, I told you, if you want me to help you, I'll help you free of charge. I won't charge you, but come to me. Talk to me. Stop this thing of you, what you guys are doing. It's not right, guys. Guys, I'm going to end now. You know, it's okay. You know, I understand some of you guys are angry. Some of you guys are saying foreigners are taking our jobs. Which job? Which job? Which job? Have you started, have you, have you created something for yourself? Is there anything that, is there any job creation that you have done? You have created? Which job are you talking about? Yeah? Because even even the companies right now they're no they don't no longer you know employing you know South Africans they are now employing foreigners because they know foreigners will never give the problem. A South African when it comes to work they will go to work Monday Tuesday until Friday. Saturday they wanna go drinking. Sunday they wanna go party. But foreigners Saturday and Sunday they wanna make sure they make they make money. Without them, no, without, without them, without them, without them making money, you must understand one thing, without them making money, there's no shelter for them, there's no girlfriend, you cannot have a girlfriend without money, you can't, you understand, you need to understand this, in order for you to stand up, stand up and do something for yourself, guys, we will keep on talking, but I was so disappointed yesterday, there's so many people sending comments, you know, why, you know, Mr. K, you know, we're hearing this, hey, what, 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 you went out, fuck off, hey, yeah, they're swearing at me, for what? Well, I'm doing my hustle. What's stopping you to start your own YouTube channel? Yeah, because YouTube can pay you money. YouTube can pay you money, you can make videos as much as I'm doing. Did you see me putting makeup? Did I put makeup? No, I'm original. If I'm ugly, I'm ugly. If I'm handsome, I'm handsome. There is nothing wrong with that. I don't need to put my makeup in order for me to change my face to be good on the camera. No. You can do the same. You can talk, start, start a topic, talk about something, start a channel. That will give you money. People are making money on YouTube. People are making plus minus 100,000, 300,000, 400,000, half a million on YouTube. But you want to come and swear at me that I'm trying my best to try and do my hustle. Yeah? I'm doing my hustle. Yeah? It's a hustle that I'm doing. There's a lot of things that I do. You know, we have to do editing and all those type of things, you know, after taking the video and all those type of things. But you guys are swearing at me. For what? Why in Roha? Then Roha Lang. Why in Tugaran? In Tugaran, guys. What did I do to you? Nothing. Stop, guys. I'm not the one telling these guys to know what to say. I mean, I'm asking questions. 
And the questions that I'm asking these guys are questions that is relevant to our current life at the moment. So why are you guys swearing at me? Why are you guys complaining? Why are you guys, as if I'm the one that told them to say this type of thing. If they are saying South Africans are lazy, what must I say? Must I stop them? If they are saying you guys are not creative, what must I do? Must I stop them? Hmm? Must I stop them? If they are saying women, South African women are leaving your own South African brothers and dating them, what must I do? Must I say, no, it's wrong what you're saying. No, I'm not going to say that. It's their own opinion. We have to respect each other's opinion. Luana, you've got your own rights. But don't swear at me, guys. No, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm doing my part to give you content. I'm doing my part to go out there. You know, I go out on the street. I put my own petrol. I go out. I use my own equipment. I go out and do content. And I say, I travel around. I go to Europe. I go to, I book a cruise ship. I go book cruise ship that do everything to get content. You know, you saw my videos, right? If you scroll down, you scroll down, scroll down, you see most of my videos that I, that I did on, on the cruise ship in, 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 in Europe. So what's stopping you? The thing is, you want to you wanna be a South African forever. Hey, let me do something. Being a South African forever is one thing that is going to make you suffer. Now I'm a South African, but I never wanted to be a South African forever. I wanted to be a South African, but to, be, to live like a foreigner in my own country. Because I know if I can live like a foreigner, I know I'll, I'll be able to put food on the table. I will make money. I will be able to take care of my family. I will be able to build a house for my, for my family and all those type of things. While you guys are sitting home, you cry, crying. You will not cry to the government. What is the government going to do for you? Government, hey, Baba, Baba, wake up. Baba, wake up. The government only cares about themselves. They, they, all those government employees, they care about themselves, about their family. They don't care about you. Do you think they care about you? That's why, they, that's why your streets are, are, are rotten. The streets has, the street has got potholes. They've got everything because they don't care about you. So why do you have to care about them? Go out and do something for yourself. Stop. If they harass you, tell them, I'm doing my hustle. Is it wrong when I'm doing my hustle? Yeah? Is it wrong? When are you going to rely? At least you are lucky because at least they are giving you something. The government is giving you something. They are giving you 350. Hmm? They are giving you 350. Now they, now they stopped my 350 that I was getting. They stopped it. Because they seeing after after COVID-19, they saw, right, well, this guy wins the money. This guy wins or something, wins or something. We go on to the money and I. Or what? Call the money and I. By stop. By stop the grand job. I'm no longer getting it. I'm trying to lose. I'm saying that that 350 you are, you, are, you, are, you are getting, you can do something. The 350 each and every month is a lot of money. You can take that 350, go to the, mar to the, mar to the mar market, buy a bag of two potatoes, buy a bag of uh, onions, buy a bag of, um, you know, uh, of, 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 of apples, buy a bag of um, buy a, 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 a bananas. Go to the street, sell. Already, sir, man, we're a challenge, man. Stop. The, so don't worry about people. You're not living for people. You, you are sitting here thinking, oh, if I sit on the street, my friends are going to laugh at me. Uh, the girlfriend, uh, my, my girlfriend is going to laugh at me. Don't care. But are you living for your girlfriend? Are you living for your girlfriend? Or are you, for, are you living for yourself? Stop being, being silly, man, guys. Wake up and start making your, your own money. Stop the thing, man. How? Are they repeal, man? Are they repeal, man? Hmm? Then you go push you, not every time. Then you go push you, then you go push you. Oh no, government, you wonder what this government is doing. You know what the government is doing now? The government is giving you uh, these RDP houses. And they don't care about you, your privacy. This RDP house, they give you, they give you as a family, an RDP house with one room. When you see these small children, they start acting weird with this, they start learning funny things. It's because their parents are doing these things in front of them. Parents go to drink, and when they come back drunk, they come and, and, and make laugh in front of these children. Hmm? Yeah? Because they are drunk. And these kids are seeing horrible things every night. Because they put you in that squash, and in that sardine's house like this. But they mean they saw more sardine, more that sardine's house like this. To suffocate you. When you think oh, you've got a house, you want to stay there forever. You don't want to stand up and do something for yourself. When you see these foreigners who are coming here to, 
from these Arab African countries, they come in to do something for themselves in South Africa. You start fighting them. For what? Hmm? For what? Really? It's wrong what the government of South Africa is doing now. It's wrong. They are, they are giving you RDP houses. At least you've got an RDP house, you've got a stand. That stand you are having, it's an opportunity for you to start hustling, do make some money, build your, build your house, build rooms, start renting those, those rooms, start making money. But some of you guys want to stay in mama's place forever. You want to be mama's boy. You want to be mama's girl forever. What are you going to do? Where is your life? Yeah? Some of you are sitting in one RDP house. Yeah? The kids are sleeping in one sleep, sleep in one room together with you with parents. At night, alcoholic you can't even steal, you can't do nothing. Because you're thinking, hey, the children are here. You have to wait for them to sleep. I want a privacy. Hmm? What type of life is that? But you still can't appreciate it at least and do something. At least learn to appreciate. The government gave you something. Hmm? When you see these kids, small children now, they are doing funny things because they are learning from their parents. They, you are, the parents are teaching them. They go out there drunk, and they come back, they do funny things in front of the children. Hmm? You want kids, kids to grow up and, and live, continue living that type of life on a daily basis, is this right? Hmm? Why can't you change their lives? Why can't you do something? Eh? Like I, I said to you, if you need help, Talk to me. I can help you. I can help you. We maybe we can we can be partners. You know we can do something out there. You know we can go out there and do hustle together online. You don't have to go on the street. If you are able to go on the street with your 350, is fine. If you don't have computer knowledge, you know some of you don't have computer knowledge, but your 350 that you're getting, it's enough for you for you to do something. Guys, I know I'm gonna talk and talk and talk. I can talk forever, but anyway. Uh, let us uh, wait and finish the topic. We'll save it for another day. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. And then uh, we'll keep on talking. We'll keep on communicating. We'll keep on making content that is affecting our lives. I'll keep on making content that is affecting our lives. If it means for me to go out there and start interviewing people, I want to know how people are living their lives in South Africa. I'll do that. So you guys can hear from them. You can learn from them. You understand? You can learn from them. Like I said to you guys, there's so many countries. South Africa is blessed. As a South African, you are, you, you are blessed. You've got so much opportunities. Do you know that in, in, in Brazil, it's a free country for South Africans? You can go, you can book a flight now, go to Brazil. Brazil government will give you six months, 180 days, six months, free visa. You can go there and stay for six months for free. Hi, how are you? All right. You can go to Indonesia, Jakarta, so many, Malaysia. You can go to many countries there and stay there for free without no visa. Yeah? I'm not staying for free in hotels. Of course, of course you have to pay. But you can, you can travel when you get there, buy stuff and bring them to South Africa. Use Aramex. Use this com Korea company that can actually Korea your stuff. And you make money. We went to Hong Kong. Me and my wife went to Hong Kong. We bought clothes there. That was about 15,000 rand. The clothes brought us something like 70 something thousand rand. Clothes! Understand? Clothes! But you guys are sitting here crying. Hey, there's no money. The double like a trala. 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 Oh, guys, thank you so much. We'll talk again. Thank you so much.